Whipping winds and punishing waves, the Jersey Shore is bracing to take another hit from Mother Nature. Our team coverage of the storm watch continues now with Iowa News reporter Trang Do. She is live in Brigantine. Good morning, Trang. Hey, good morning, Rahel and Jim. And as you guys have seen, things have gotten progressively worse throughout the morning. When we got here at around four, it wasn't even raining yet. And then as you see throughout my live shots, it started raining pretty heavily. Now it's not so much, but the wind has definitely picked up. It's very chilly out here. Take a look. This is the beach in Brigantine. We're on the seawall here. You can already see that there is some significant ponding that's happening on the beach here. You can see the heavy equipment that's been out here to deal with this, to prepare for this. And we we do have some video of crews preparing last night. What they were doing was putting sand on the beach to kind of create that extra buffer to protect against flooding of the streets here, even though there is this great seawall that we see here. Also, we along the Jersey Shore, businesses and people, they are preparing. We were in Stone Harbor and saw uh, some sandbags as well as barriers being put up. Now, the other big issue that they are dealing with here down at the shore, obviously, is the high winds. We are hearing that winds gusts can be as high as 60 miles per hour. So with that, Atlantic City Electric is really asking customers to really anticipate outages. Uh, they will have crews on standby as well as emergency crews on standby throughout the weekend. We've been monitoring this storm since it's, you know, become something of note. Uh, we're anticipating uh, high winds uh, Friday into Saturday. Uh, they're talking anywhere from 40 to 60 mile an hour gusts in our specific area uh, and a potential for some uh, moderate to major flooding depending on the track of the storm and, uh, and, and how long it sticks around with us. And we've got these flags here. You can really see how the winds have picked up over time throughout the morning. Now, another thing to really note for those who live down here at the shore, we're expecting high tide in just about an hour at 7.15, and that's when officials say we can start to see some minor flooding. So be mindful of that. But for now, we're live in Brigantine. I'm Trying Doe, CBS3 Eyewitness News. Jim and Rahel, back to you. Thank you, Trang.